In the previous tape it got cut. Today I have two parts. So in Colossians 1, 10, 1, 9, the prayer for us, continuing from the previous tape. That you might be filled, plero all, of epinosis, full knowledge, clear and exact knowledge. And that's what it is, lacking in our pulpits. You might be filled with epinosis knowledge according to his telema. Not bulomai, telema. The word telema, that which is taken into course and that will be taken into action when you know the will. Bulomai only will know but he will not take into action. That's the difference. Telema is what the word has been used over here by Lord God, the Holy Spirit, for us to learn that you might be filled with the full epinosis knowledge of his will in all that is past everything completely. In whatsoever Lord God has called as the manifold wisdom of my Christ, the land, the breath, the height, the depth. In all wisdom, Sophia having a full intelligence. And the copulative conjunction Kai, pneumaticas relating to the human spirit because given by the divine spirit so that your inner mind could be present before Lord God the Father, perfect and complete, he says, belonging to the divine spirit, the spiritual understanding soon is complete understanding by that we meant to say the mind so far forth as it understands and that is the intelligence concretely and to bring together to understand as the man of understanding to call as an idiom as an upright man having the knowledge of those things which pertain to acts absolute salvation and that's what he says to cano in Second Timothy 2 9 as well. They may obtain, to cano, they may come and look and understand the things pertaining to the salvation. So here it is, understanding the things pertaining to salvation. And then he uses the clause that you may walk worthy. Again, the word walk peripata. Oh, it would have been so I can't. We would have really understood the purpose of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, how important it is. But since it is only walking, you haven't understood the greater degree than walking so I can So he says, walking worthy, axia, suitably, that which is worthy of manner of your calling in Christ, that which becomes after you subyan standards. And when you weigh and see, it shall not be like mine mine tikel, but your walk was worthy, that what it should be suitable for your reward that could meet the standards of doctrine so that you might walk worthy of the Lord that is what again Korea's unto all again the word for everything pass pleasing areskia desire to please and making to understand that we are here to strive to please not to strive to have our option being burnt out as wrath of the Lord upon us but our option wherewith for glory and to please him for his pleasure and that's what we are not making our standards to be agreeable for his pleasure so he says walk worthy unto all pleasing and then being fruitful that's what the fruit of light Ephesians 5 9 the fruit of spirit Galatians 5 18 and following you know so the fruit of light and the fruit of spirit being fruitful in every that is what again for every individually as well as collectively Good agathas having great intrinsic value of this great employment or business in this church age. That's the work, Erga. And again, the copulative conjunction, Kai, increasing auxano. The word meant to say to cause to grow. The word meant to say to increase, to become greater, to enlarge. And the way how you enlarge, increasing in the knowledge that is epinosis knowledge once again the word epinosis knowledge of theos the words over here dear brethren why we need to look very specifically is that we have entered as disciple he says in matthew 13 52 the kingdom of lord god is been so in these standards we enter there as a disciple and we graduate there from discipleship program by becoming the scribes or the grammateas or the new testament theologians we have to be every believer in christ but what is happening there dear brethren we know very well we are not even making our lives to become as a disciple that is as a new sabian believer in christ but what the bible calls Bible calls for us very specifically that for the first time disciples were been called as Christians in Acts chapter 11 and Apostle 
Apostle Paul followed with Barnabas, they encourage us to say, cleave unto the Lord of our God with the purpose of your heart. What is the purpose of our heart? To enter as disciple and to graduate to become the great New Testament scribes or theologians or grammateers, what the Greek word says for us. That's the increasing auxano. And today the people are not even aware whether you are true Christian or not. If you are truly a true Christian, you would truly understand your increase should be in the word of Christ. There is no excuse if you are not growing up and entering into the church as a disciple. And if you are not entered out from there as entering into disciple. And if you are not exiting it out as a great theologian or a New Testament theologian or a scribe. Then your purpose is absolutely vain. You are just fighting against the rock. And that rock, what you can call, is not going to crack. As he says for us, workers of iniquity, I know not who you are. By listening to false doctrines, by listening to false lies, you are coming up onto the words, beating against the wind, tossing to and fro for every slight of doctrine. That's what your life is. But the counsel of the Lord of our God abideth forever. The purpose of the Lord of our God stands forever. And there he says and teaches to us very specific words. You enter there, we need to see you are increasing in the realm of Epinosus knowledge. Pleasing in every standards of Lord's word. Pleasing in every thought of Lord's word. And why is giving those standards to us? You have to enter there as a disciple, he says. And increasing uses the word. So that your inner mind could be strengthened by the dunamis power and you could manifest the kratos power in you. The Kratos power, exact copy of the Dunamis power. For that cause he has given us the Exousia authority. The Exousia authority. Satan taunted my Christ in Luke 4, 6 through 7 and says, I have all the authority. But Christ our Lord our God said, yes, indeed, I will take the world. But not with that authority. But first going to the cross and then taking the crown. And I will make my disciples. My disciples would come and make disciples of all the nations. And they will purchase this world in the realm of discipleship. And that's the Kratos power he has given for us to be manifested under the Duomis power because of that great exousia authority given to us. And that's the great Iskun power to be manifested in us when we have been proving the word of the Lord of our God to be accurately in our lives. And yet you love not to take what is your Kratos power to be manifested. You have to love not to increase from discipleship program to make unto yourself the standards of great Word, what we can call and use. Grammatias in the Greek. New Testament theologians. Matthew 13, 52. Though we have come for 530 years, the pivot is shrinking down. We're not able to find disciples. The translations have littered out for you into the into your water standards. They have diluted to such extent. They say Matthew 28, 18 through 20, make Christians, that's enough. If they would know and understand the concept of disciples, they would not translate there as Christians and they would keep the word Mathetias in the Greek as Mathetias disciples. Your translations are diluting out, dear brethren. We have been said, if you live in the spirit, you also walk peripatao in the spirit. And if you walk in the spirit, the word of the Lord of God says, you march in the spirit of Galatians 5, 26. The people have translated that also into wrong standards. And they want to keep it as a DP status for them in the WhatsApp. Knowing not the importance, they want to spread but their will and wish is not according to the word of the Lord of our God. Therefore, he says in Proverbs 15, 19 for us, you are making an hedge because being sluggard, because being sluggish, because being lazy, that's what the word should be. You are lazy not to look what the word is. You are lazy not to look what the word will be in the original Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic to learn the things. You are lazy enough and not understanding the truth. Therefore, the sluggard's one will build up hedge of thorns around them. That's the way, that's the Darak. 
That's the course of life being designed. But the way of the righteous, the one who is collectively taking day in and is walking in the journey, who is traveling in the race of a rank. And what is that word? Yashir, straight upright. Is always salal. The word salal, exalted, is the word for us to look that he has been exalted. It is a word that is walking in the highway of holiness. Isaiah 35, 8. Are you in the way of righteous or are you in the way of the wicked? Lord God demands those men who are always walking in the way of righteous standards. He wants them. Therefore he arose that great battle 500 years back in 1517. No matter what, the grace of the Lord of God and the counsel of the Lord of God, though it began long back in Acts chapter 5, even through Gamaliel, the counsel given to them, if it is by the Lord of a God, it should abide forever. If it is by the men, it would not abide. And if you are fighting against the will of God the Father, you find yourself, you are fighting against God. He gave them the counsel and he left them. But do you think they stopped? No. It is by the counsel of the Lord of a God. Not only the temples, but also they went to preach in their homes. That same period continued till to the point of 15th century and the rise of the need to teach the word of the Lord of a God already locked in a period for more than thousand years from the first century till to the point of this word which could come and begin with William Wycliffe, the translation of the word. The man who came and gave those translations to those people to talk in the original languages and train them up. Lord God rose those men even though they have been burnt off after their dead body has been taken out the work for translations. Because that's the will and the work of the Lord. Though in the 15th century they had this fight. Till now it continues because Lord's will is that everyone should come to the increasing of Epinos' knowledge. Increasing, increasing, increasing from discipleship to the program of what we call as New Testament theologians grammatias increasing grow up and this will continue the Lord wills before the rapture of the church it will continue we may be here we may be not the message of the Lord of God alone will abide forever if he seemeth fit to continue this church age for another 10,000 years, it's his will. And Lord God forbid, he knows when to take it out. And the number of that fallen angels could match to the believers, that's the last moment will be out. But we don't know the time, neither the hour, as he said even to his son. And now we are aware, every breath is accountable to the Lord. 503 years have passed out. Where are we standing? We have to give an account to the Lord for which cause he has kept us alive. Greater the time you spend not knowing the truth, you are making yourself hedge of a thorn, he said, because you are still sluggish and lazy. But the way, the one who is already walking in that course of life, in the traveling path like a race and is walking in his rank is always straightforward and such straightforward one will be exalted said the Lord and that exalted straightforward one will always be in the highway of holiness to Christ because he will not be hard-hearted and will be not far away from the righteousness of Christ. He would humbly come to look the truth in Christ. He would humbly come to understand the power of Christ. He would humbly know it is not my will, O Lord, thy will you have made for me. This life as a gracious gift for your glory, for your will, for your all pleasure to be done. That's what he will humbly come. Because he knows very well the word of the Lord of a God alone will abide forever. Not the Ravada's title, what they take, but the title of pastor teacher for a male believer, he would humbly come to serve Christ. And 
yet which way you want to go to your bathroom you decide we can talk about this reformation movement again in next year 2020 october 31st 540 year it would be and yet people are not interested to work as Joshua said you cannot serve that living jealous Lord because you're not having that true fear of the Lord be fear of my Christ if you truly understand you have been born according to the will of Lord God the Father then wake up and be mature enough because the creation is awaiting for the manifestations of these adult sons who oh, yes because the creation if we don't go and rescue them they will perish and if you're not used for the pleasure of the Lord like the victory will be cursed out though the gardener asked Lord grant one more year even after that one year there was no fruit he will chop you out because there is no second chance of rebellion with the Lord he's going to put an end of all afflictions and what you think you can imagine against my Christ nothing will stand except his counsel think over these issues life is too short the responsibility laid down upon our shoulders is too large grow up in grace carry a cross and follow my Christ become his disciple becoming his disciple is not enough increasing in the epinosis knowledge is needed from epinosis knowledge to knowledge he calls that is from discipleship program to become the New Testament theologians grammar yes. and if, if you don't love to look this great reformation movement as a great gift for us as a great grace gift for us then you're still following the standards of Ravidas and not the standards of pastor teachers being appointed by the Lord for the edification of his church his flock his bride to come to the future. Think over this issue, dear brother. We shall come back and continue tomorrow. In the same divine presence of Lord God the Father, as He seemeth fit to lead us, with our head borne eyes closed. The closing moments have been dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In order to tell to Lord God the Father that you believe upon my Christ, my Lord, my Rock, my Savior. That is the moment itself you shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for is for very simple. Believe in Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the greatest might is to grow up in grace and in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, wherewith you shall learn to acquire to possess know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teachers, the greatest might is to carry Sotan Lagam. Be prepared in season and out of season, because of the Dharma to my witnesses wherewith you have been called. The number one Dharma to my witnesses in Berlin Trinity, followed by Bible in our hands. And number two Dharma to my witnesses, our hearers. If there are no witnesses, dear brethren, do not worry. Besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. And what is our work? Our work is to rightly divide the word of the Lord of our God, no matter however the chips may fall, by continually walking in the way of Yashir Salal. That's our way. Yashir Salal Orak Yashir Salal Because Yehovah Malak And the people tremble Yami Ragas We are not here for men To be feared We are not here for men to be pleased We are here to fear the Lord of our God and his word And we are here to please Lord God To be his bond slaves and prisoners not a never for man think over these issues tomorrow we shall come back and continue infinitely divine holy father 
how much thankful we are for those great reformation leaders oh lord who have come 500 years back so that father according to your grace plan in these ages you have even given for us this word to have to grow up not only just to become as disciples but to become as new testament theologians many people forgetting the work of pastor teacher lord you know very well what it is they have followed the tracks of again roman catholicism by becoming themselves as reverend and doctorates which is no way concerned in the bible apart from you you are holy and reverend at a lord for the sake of men becoming slaves to men they have come to such pleasure forgetting the main principle work of daily teaching the truth father we pray once again o lord as you know the pain of our heart before a word is upon our tongue you know it very well renovate the standards of this pulpit so lord let them come back once again to teach word upon word line upon line precept upon precept as you said in Ezekiel 37:7 when he prophesied as you instructed bone to bone they came attached like that o lord line upon line precept upon precept word upon word concept iota upon iota carrier upon carrier with proper isagogic categories and exegesis with the right dispensing technique of dispensation so lord help us to teach thy word because it is thy word o lord that alone shall reign forever and forever we may be today here in thy gracious plan but at our lord the people to come which you have designed for them looking upon the standards of our teaching o lord help them come back to look what is the power of knees when we kneel down when we kneel down and come to the neological college and make our tongue to be trained to become the great theological tongue of christ help us father to do thy will and nothing else on this earth in christ much less be our gracious name we pray father we are thankful for the gracious reformation moment which have come in our life so that we could enjoy this bible in our hands and the freedom given to us with respect to of the countries wherever we abide yet in our own language you could give to us this word so lord we are thankful for your gracious marvelous plan help us all lord those who are left behind who have fallen behind once again to come back and build upon the word in christ much less be our gracious name we pray father the lord god the holy spirit and let him challenge us by this words in christ name we pray so lord amen